Welcome to Gamers Rise Up. I am Micah Rock and Roll with your hosts, Sam Schild and Melisande Osmus. We are live on Extremely.Live uh, right now. How the hell are you both? How was your week? Good. I, uh, I've been going to a lot of doctor's appointments recently. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, <laughs> and all the fun ones. A lot of gynecology. <laughs> so mm. I've been telling everybody all about my vagina health. And, uh... <laughs> the pussy doctor. <laughs> yes, that's what I call them and they don't like it. <laughs> I Well, so the thing is, too, is I have a hot tip for all of you comedians out there. Oh, lay it there on There is no, no more captive audience than a gynecologist with... Uh, camera up your vagina because <laughs> I say all my best material and they love it. Yeah. I'm really funny. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just like, joke, 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 joke. And I don't know, maybe they're just trying to make me feel better because I just cried in front of them. Because <laughs> um, mm-hmm. I also cry in front of every doctor because just, just maybe they'll give me pills. <laughs> if, you, if you cry hard enough, That's right. I don't know. You're like, it's kind of a heavy flow. Can I have Adderall? <laughs> yeah, are you, Can are I you please have some Oxycontin? My cramps kind of <laughs> were a little rough yesterday. <laughs> it's good to distract them while they're down there. You know, it's mm, good to kind of exactly. give them a challenge. It, you can yeah. say jokes like. Oh yeah, there's like this giant worm in my pussy. I think it's, um... <laughs> you seen that movie Teeth? And then they yeah. hop out and they go guilty. <laughs> yeah, you're like doing a ventriloquism with a worm puppet, <laughs> making like coming out of here. This is Kale like, left the destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got like an ultrasound of my uterus, and I was like. Does anyone have like too much fun? Because they like do stick like a camera, mm. Mm. and I'm like, does anyone have too much fun? And she's like, not for me, Reese, at all. And I'm like, <laughs> wow, that's about to change. And then I came wow. all over her. <laughs> You're like uh, live from New York. It's my <laughs> vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Well, get you get us that me? video I footage. Quit. I can. Quit. Oh, I have a, I, I have photos. <laughs> Hell yeah! You should try and uh, queef the alphabet. While down oh there. my god! Yeah, I just start shoving air up there for like. With like a pump, like a basketball pump. What are you, Chuck? In what are you doing? Like, I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready for my appointment. Uh, this is it's for you. you visit it. Check-in. God. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh it was like God. I'm just getting jealous of all these cuts on my feed with their like baby photos. So can I please have a photo of my ultrasound? And here it is, my little IUD. <laughs> I've been carrying her oh, for wow. two years now. Congrats! And she's ready to come out. That's Thank so you. beautiful. <laughs> I have it traumatizing iud story that's gonna sound like bullshit but it's completely real oh, so you know like the what the wires at that stick out like it's the iud it's like a yeah. e and then the cross i literally was having sex and i swear to god the wires it stuck inside my urethra oh. when i was having sex <laughs> I pulled it out immediately. It, imagine you're having sex, and then it's like a little tiny dagger stabs like the tip oh. of your cock. Oh. I pulled it out immediately. I was like, oh. like you know, like, <laughs> it was just it was horrifying. And then us ladies burnt. call that revenge. <laughs> hmm and, uh. and then you're kind of afraid to go in again, but I, uh, I, I went to the Planned Parenthood because it was burning when I peed. And they were like, yeah, so you probably have a little scarring on the interior of your urethra. And that's probably why it's burning when you pee. So you're going to pee on it until it heals. And I was just oh like, oh, God. cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Damn. So that's crazy. Then on, I just, 
I switched to just fisting after that. <laughs> I wouldn't have to. <laughs> I like to keep it interesting. I just shove bees up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Glass bottles, like real. Yeah. Thin <laughs> Oh man, that's why you're always giving out honey for the holidays. <laughs> you're always winking. It it's my it's special just... honey. <laughs> just covered in shit. That joke. <laughs> oh, God. Today I was uh, I was editing for a guy. I was like a home visit editing. And uh, I thought he was an older fella, and I thought I smelled a fart. And then I realized his dog shit inside <laughs> oh, the house. And, uh, it's an older, elderly fella, the dog. Um, and he just shits where it pleases. Um, <laughs> Is it your job to take moment. care of it? Yeah, you have to edit videos <laughs> and take care of his dog yeah. shit. I'm I'm like half editor, half dog hospice. <laughs> but uh, there's that awkward moment of like, oh, I'm pretty sure this old guy just farted, and <laughs> you have to decide when you want to say like, hey, I think your dog. <laughs> shit. shit! Oh my god! <laughs> Someone shat, and we're gonna have to get to the bottom. <laughs> One of my craziest uh, subway stories is I got on the subway and um, there was like a guy yelling and I was so tired after work. I was like, fuck it. I'm going to sit next to the guy that's yelling. <laughs> and then like I had my headphones on. I was like doing my thing and I get kind of curious. I'm like, what's he yelling about? And I turn it down and he's yelling to the entire crowded subway. This girl just queefed when she sat down. <laughs> oh my I God. Heard her. <laughs> she queefed and I just wanted to yell like it doesn't work like that <laughs> it was probably a fart <laughs> oh. no, you're like no it would smell a certain way <laughs> um, okay. actually does this smell like fish in here I don't think so <laughs> Oh my God. No, it smells like Cinnabon, which is what my you know <laughs> which is... my rear smells like <laughs> Wow. Uh, Subway is awesome. So, so many it. treats. Oh, hell yeah. Breaking God, out the Red Bull. I got some Kratom here. <laughs> you haven't had any uh, gamer drinks in a while on camera, Sam. For a minute there, you had like a new yeah. gamer drink each week. Yeah, well, what happened was is I started developing stomach ulcers, so I couldn't <laughs> be uh, drinking Prime anymore. Um, but I like, there, there's this fucking section at the deli by me that, where like the drinks suddenly, instead of flavors, it's just like superheroes <laughs> oh, and like no. weird kind of this, this pure marketing for like some, like the next Black Panther movie or something. Um, <laughs> hell yeah. Yeah. I, but the thing about those is there's a lot of taurine in those mm. and there's a lot of, uh, just horrific fucked up ingredients but i really should i really should get back into that <laughs> what, are they smell what are you what's the vape oh they use miami mint nice. what's yours is that weed this is weed and it is the flavor is apple fritter and apple i love how they have this I... I love how they have the weed and then the danger sign like a little <laughs> weed logo there like i love that oh, look out, you're gonna get you're gonna get stoned fucker <laughs> i love popcorn um, lung <laughs> yeah, exactly which i'm sure i'm developing um, i love popcorn but... i'm saying come come at me <laughs> I know, free popcorn, you just, like, breathe out and shoot popcorn kernels out of your nose. <laughs> it's apple fritter, and fritter, I think, is, like, the my least favorite word in the entire English language. Fritter, fritter. is weird. It is such a horrific word, but it's actually my favorite weed flavor. Everything else still tastes like, like Spencer's gifts, so. Have you ever tried the, like, ones that are cereal? Because the cereal ones taste like cereal. I swear to fucking God. It's good. I, that that Fruit Loops, I bet, would be incredible. Or Fruity yeah. Pebbles. Yeah. Spencer I don't Lamar's know what they're doing to this food. weed. <laughs> he literally said in his, like, Kendrick Lamar, he had his, like, uh, GQ Essentials. And he had, like, a box of Fruity Pebbles. He's like, it's my favorite food. <laughs> I'm like, wow. This guy I grew up 
with a silver spoon, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Rolls Royce. Yeah, I got that generic <laughs> shit. What are you talking about? <laughs> Jesus I think there Christ. should be uh, savory vapes. <laughs> <It's like> my... <laughs> there should be, but really quick, it's like saying my favorite food is Sunny D. <laughs> it's like completely insane. <laughs> there should be, there should be savory vapes. What, what, what? We like prosciutto or what kind of meats? I'm thinking like uh, Cool Ranch Doritos. Like, oh you know, yeah, that would make more sense. Going on that uh, uh, yeah. f- f- snack food tip. Yeah. Um, a nice linguine, <laughs> maybe like a shrimp linguine, maybe like a belly, maybe like a belly button, you know. Like <laughs> Sam's like, favorite uh, food is belly button. <laughs> it's like those uh, yes. fucked up jelly beans, you know, with the weird flavors. Uh, they can start doing that yes. with babes. That. <laughs> that's all because of J.K. Rowling. So oh, that's her. Oh, got it. Fun I think and she's canceled. Know, that's true. <laughs> yeah, she's is she canceled, canceled, she's canceled because of the horrific comments, or because she made us eat shitty jelly beans? <laughs> you decide. <laughs> Probably the know. horrific comments. I keep changing the reason on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I hate J.K. Rowling today, though? <laughs> <laughs> it would oh, be funny boy. to just make really slight alterations on the media pages and spurt it out so you don't get found out. Just like, weird little chickens are like say like just like after like about a historical figure like they had a long pair of shoes which is like just in there somewhere. It's like completely known for their extremely long and narrow shoes. Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation <laughs> yeah. Proclamation. Oh my God! Oh boy, man! Oh man! Wow! What a what a what a weird week! I, I had a weird like fa- uh, I don't even remember anything I did. Just kind of came and went with a with a bang or a whimper or both. Aww. I can tell you I know, what I have been doctor. doing. Oh yeah. What Everything okay you? by the way? The standard issue yeah, stuff. Yeah, good. Oh, well, okay. I won't bore you, but I have to take a <laughs> vagina suppository. <laughs> which is mm. crazy. I don't know those exist. Anyway, that's all so far. I'll keep you updated. Okay, yeah. Seems good though. Yeah, it's important. Up. Health of the show update. <laughs> Yeah, and I, you know, I think I have enough material for a Netflix special, so (laughs) keep an eye out. Maybe, good, good. Maybe whenever one of us, there could be a little HUD for our health, and whenever one of us has a suppository (laughs) in, it'll be like a filled in circle, and when when we don't, sort of like the outs in baseball. (laughs) Yeah, totally. Or like when you get a gun in Contra, the logo changes. (laughs) Yeah, 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 yeah. If you're dorks or whatever, it could be like, all right, we could have a sexual arousal bar, a smell bar. Oh, that would actually be so tight. Uh, uh, my smell bar would be off the charts. I did bar. not. I am. I, I will tell you, I just had a tuna put long from Subway. So <laughs> it is smelling like armpit. <laughs> all right micah how do you smell oh boy i actually just showered but i know shouldn't have done it before the show but before that oh. i was getting real slimy i went on a on a long walk and got real sweaty wore uh, too heavy of a coat hate when that happens oh. my arms get oh, so yeah. gross uh yeah like slimy but um like yeah. mine right now <laughs> i'm uh i'm feeling fresh fresh right now okay um, okay i promise no more vagina talk <laughs> all right boys come back in the room <laughs> yeah all right <laughs> yeah you scared away all our getters? cool guy listeners <laughs> yeah <laughs> I mean, for me, it's just stuff I already know about that I heard before, so it doesn't make me uncomfortable. I'm just so sick of hearing about it because I hear about it so much. Yeah, it gets boring after a while. Oh, God. Well, 
Am I uh, yet again the only loser of the group who actually played a video game this week? Oh! What are you talking about? We played. What are you talking about? We played Minecraft together, bro. Oh, Wait, yeah! Me... Without me. I forgot. That is one thing I did the, uh, last week. Oh, you forgot, huh? When was that? Friday? Just kidding. Yeah. Friday yeah. night. <laughs> sitting in our asses. <laughs> Playing <laughs> Minecraft. I'm so jealous. It was fun. I um. My stupid yeah. mom was in town. <laughs> yeah. Taking up all yeah, your time, I'm talking too. about Jesse Waters nonstop. <laughs> <laughs> She's obsessed. She won't she let number? that 15 minutes die. <laughs> um. That's yeah. Crazy. I I hadn't uh, been in the server in weeks, and you guys like. Built an entire rail system. You got uh, whole uh, uh, paths and stairs everywhere. Uh, you built a, a garbage can. I was thinking about <laughs> when I get in there and uh, just kind of go nuts. I've decided I'm going to build us a giant uh, Moloch statue we can worship. Because so, there's way too many. Uh, <laughs> there's way too many like random uh cubes of uh rock you know in all our drawers i'm like we got to use these up i'm gonna build a insane uh statue for us to worship maybe put a little yes. pool of lava Hell at the yeah. bottom you could offer sacrifices yes. to <laughs> yeah, just yeah. Throw chickens. <laughs> yeah so i think uh, that's what my, i'm gonna I contribute think i can i can I feel that. my intelligence kind of regressing backwards uh just from the amount of mind i've really have chosen to use a lot of my hard drive space for minecraft and i don't mean my physical i mean like my brain like the disc utility is mostly just ah, yeah. and then oh my god the other day i fucking got up real high i had a bunch of shit i was like way north of our our little establishment <laughs> fucking died, fucking lost my shit. It was oh. over. It was I over. hate it. I hate it. What it what so got hard. you? It was, I found a village just mm. north of like where, where Melisande found those cherry blossom trees. Mm. And there's a little cave in there and my dumb little ass snuck down there and thought, oh, I might poke around a little bit. I might poke around. Poke around a little bit, do And I immediately, like, got shot with an arrow, and then I, like, <laughs> fell back, and a spider came and fucked me up, and then I, like, was running away and hitting space oh, bar. And... <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst. You yeah. hate to see it. Uh, yeah, it was... It's hard to come back from that because then it's like, well, you're back at your house with nothing, bitch. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? <laughs> you gonna try and find it? I don't think so. You only I have a day. It it's, you only have five minutes. That's how. Really? That's how long. Oh, did you look it up? I looked it up. Oh, or your shit no way. disappears. That no, should be, it should be a half was... an hour. You should get a it half a an little... hour. Yeah. You should get your whole life. <laughs> I. Like, you know, cause I, 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 um, I, uh, did, I, uh, you know, died one time and then I went back and right as I was getting no. there, it all disappeared. Oh. Like I was this oh. close, like four blocks away. Oh. Oh, it was, I, uh, that sucks. I, I killed. I've never had that happen. I was so <laughs> devastated. Yeah. That's, that's even more I brutal than my mom. just being gone. It's, <laughs> It was worse to the than news. Dad dying. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we just I said. Actually don't have to take the, I actually don't have to take the SAT now, so pretty cool. Felons can't <laughs> take the SATs. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guess what, buddy? I get the skip call. <laughs> this guy like, gets convicted for murder, and he just like, represent <laughs> <laughs> like, oh shit, I don't have a fucking house. <laughs> Short <laughs> <laughs> I just all day, and I don't even pay for it. <laughs> oh my god! God damn! 
Yeah, that's tough. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I should give my Stardew report. I've been playing uh, Stardew yeah. Valley nonstop to a I gross was, degree, yeah. to an embarrassing degree. I was going to say, I'm going to, I'm just about to waste my entire life playing Stardew again. So it, uh, it, it hooked me good. It, mm. uh, so this is update 1.6. Uh, it might as well be a uh, called uh, uh, Stardew Valley Remastered because there's Ooh. so many little changes throughout. Like it's down to like weird details. Like he re uh, he like redesigned the graphics on like waterfalls and stuff and made them look different and stuff. I like. I'm like I'm pretty sure that's new. I don't remember that, but like mm. the change log, I guess, is crazy on the update. Uh, but I haven't read it because I, I just want to be surprised. But um, I've been playing like at least an hour a day since last we talked. Usually more. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm like, uh, I, you know, you start <laughs> when you start. It's in uh, uh, spring. I'm in middle of fall right now. Wow. Uh, yeah. And uh, is it like you're you're parents die like in fall or how does it is it just <laughs> kind yeah. of so your grandfather dies and he uh, oh. yeah, oh, yeah. I he forgot. he leaves you uh uh the the deed to a farm up uh you know somewhere you like it opens you like working at a faceless organization you're like, depressed <laughs> at a you work. gotta play this game sam i'm telling you oh you have to um can i just get it can i play it on my, my little macbook yeah totally yeah yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Oh, okay. the, the, it won't. It's not a taxing game in any way. Um, sure. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah. You, uh, your your grandfather dies. You inherit a farm, and then you go to this farm, and you just meet the local townspeople, and you start clean. Like your farm's like covered in like debris and looks like shit, and it's run down. And like the game is just <laughs> you like cleaning it up, fixing it up, and then you just kind of like make it look any way you want and put shit wherever you want and similar to like a, a minecraft uh where you're kind of just like change around your landscape not not so much like um verticality yeah, you know 3d or whatever but it's a similar similar vibe it's uh, good it's yeah, so it's, fucking good it is really good but uh there's We're already awesome. been like multiple special events that are totally new uh, he's added uh, like he's redone all these systems like uh, there's now like a um, uh, you can get like do quests and get tickets and then you take the tickets to uh, the mayor's house and there's like a, a gachapon like what like, toy thing where you like oh get special God. treats. They redid how you get divorced <laughs> like, you, you know, so I'm, I'm boy, you now just, you have to kill them. So, yeah. So in the old game. The only way you did it is you had to go to a witch and the witch like casts a spell to make your, oh, yeah. your ex forget who you are. <laughs> you basically like mind wipe them. And now it's like straight up. You got to go do paperwork at the mayor's house, oh, which makes shit. me think that they will now remember that you divorced them. So you yeah. can like, I'm, I'm betting you can like marry and divorce everybody in this town, make the oh, whole town God. think you're a piece and of they shit. All start an emo band. <laughs> Because he's like, I added so much new dialogue, and I be I'm betting a lot of it is that, which is pretty you funny. You started off describing it as like a farm simulator, and then like just like two sentences later, you're like, oh, they also updated how you divorce. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a witch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? So it's a farm sim, but then it's also like there's a town you go to and you interact with the people. Exactly. So that's what's so fun about the game. Is oh. Like, so there's like planning and raising your crops as one kind of element like fully it's fleshed not like the out the biggest part yeah fully fleshed out fun element then there's mining and and combat inside the the caves so like that's another fully like fleshed out fun thing to do there's um fishing and foraging and they've added all kinds of new ways to forage like the like moss grows on trees now and you have to like you can collect uh -huh. moss and like make food out of it um there's just everything that you used to do 
there's like a bunch of new twists on everything and there's a bunch of added added stuff like there's just like this random weird character who flies across the screen at night and just drops surprise boxes that wind what? up everywhere <laughs> um it's very fun but yeah uh, uh so there's like those three elements uh mining f- you know fishing foraging and and working on your farm there's also animals you can care for and and produce items from them like uh, uh produce and whatever um so there's like all of that plus there's a town where you like interact with people become friends the more you become friends it unlocks like uh special events and like one-on-one like hangouts with them and cut scenes and shit like that uh so yeah there's people you can marry you can have kids with them kick them to the curb when you're sick of them marry (laughs) another one that's all i want to (laughs) do i want to know what divorce feels like (laughs) and uh uh there's like just a couple other like there's like a you can go off to like a a, a middle of nowhere a desert that has like a casino and shit like that there's just all these like it's... You can play however you want to play in whatever order you want to play. Um, like, yeah, like I've played a lot of those types of games with like the farming elements. Mm-hmm. And then like eventually you get married. You're like, all right, I've seen it all. Mm-hmm. With Stardew Valley, I every like everything. You just keep getting surprised that there's more. Yeah, it was it's... like that's what makes it so fucked up. Is that and it just keeps you playing because like every single time you're like, oh wait, what? There's yeah. more. You yeah. have more for me. There's, yes, daddy. Damn. That's uh, been I would say doubled. Like oh my god, I haven't played uh, in like a year. To fuck up my life. <laughs> I'm telling you, I haven't played in like a year, and um, it just fucking hooked me all over again. Just because there's so much new shit and. Um, Man, it's just it's just so much fun. Oh yeah, he added like a whole like book system where you can like collect or buy books that uh, give you special abilities after you read them. Uh, There's all new. Yeah, you get all these new special abilities. Like you can kind of like customize your character's skills even more. It's very very good. I was kind of floored. And you can. And can you play with multiple people? Can you play yes. With friends or is it so there's multiplayer, and I'm dying. I have never tried it. I tried to get my buddy I... uh, to play with me. He, he he would never do it. I would love to do a, a co-op farm with you guys. That'd be so yes. fun. I feel, I've feel i heard from people that it gets like a little annoying just because like you can't pause anymore. Oh. Or like if someone goes into the like map without you then you're just like sol like you just teleport there Whoa. yeah so like I you think have to be on the same screen the, together it's like kind of a i don't know i this is from a friend but oh, okay. i think it's like at least i think they were playing it on like a console like on the tv so it was split screen oh, for them fuck that. but then it's like you know like in minecraft if you're on a single server if you pause or like then it'll you know stop Right. But if you're like with a bunch of other people, like it just keeps going and you yeah. don't have any way to pause the game and like check your shit out. That but other than sense. that, I think like people have said good things. Yeah, that makes sense. Cause there is like moments where you want to like pa- basically pause the, the clock so that you can like sort through your shit or whatever. Mm-hmm. Cause the day does go pretty, goes by pretty quick. So I could see where that would be. Um, flustering at the very least but yeah. eh, whatever play to more play days with my boys i'll make that sacrifice <laughs> i call you my boys do you like that <laughs> holy shit i just got notified that my my gmail password was revealed and found in a data week oh hell so just, yeah that was me <laughs> so i just quickly change my gmail password there <laughs> sorry about that little i get I one of those Google. every week <laughs> <laughs> i just keep giving gonna... it out to people <laughs> people pleaser <laughs> and an over share 
I was going to Google image search Stardew Valley multiplayer, and then I ended up you know, making sure my credit card was safe. But <laughs> yeah, so you have to stay on the same screen. I can. I was going to ask because I knew it was like an overhead Zelda style. Yeah. Of, you know, like the Link's Awakening or, you know, one. Um, so I wondered how you'd do the multiplayer. It would be cool if you didn't weren't limited to the one screen, but I feel like it'd be tough if you were all inside see. there. Is that true? You have to stay on the same I don't think you have to stay on the same screen. I think it's split screens. Or like, you know, you're on your each, you're each on your own device. Oh, hold console. on, I'm trying to just look. You're just in the same world. But I don't know. I'm reading. Uh, host, the players are farmhands. The host has a save file on their system. You can play it in both multiplayer and single player mode. If the host isn't online, the farm isn't currently open to the other players. Then mm. farmhands can't access their characters in that world. I see. We got to so, get Sam to be the host then, because I feel yeah. like the common denominator on our Minecraft server is that Sam is always there. <laughs> True. Yeah, I just am the biggest loser. <laughs> well, I so, go yeah, in like, I... when you are all like asleep, and I'm like, I'm going to make this little map, and they're going to be so proud of me, and they're going to love me forever. <laughs> and then... I, and then I see on the Instagram, you're like, let's go mine. And I'm like, I'm <laughs> quitting work. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh. but yeah, I, uh, I enjoy it. <laughs> Hell it's yeah. So fun. No, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I built a little railway to this. I mean, if oh, I start so talking fun. about it. I'm going to have to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, um, <laughs> it's so good. But yeah. But I will. Let's do the Stardew thing. That'll be fun. Yeah, I think that it's on sale really cool. right now. And it'll be like a new thing. Let me see. I'm not Check giving up, up on our Steam. Minecraft, though. Huh? No, I'm no, not giving up not. on our Minecraft, though. No, no, no. Okay, good. I just... Uh... I at least want to try this. It's 15 bucks. It'd be fun. I'm down. I'm super down. Because I, oh, yeah. I can do that at work. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, I that's the other thing it. they added. They added like a way more um, involved um, like uh, quest like thing. Where it's like, you know, you can normally go up to the seed store and take on like spe- special requests. Mm-hmm. They added a second board that like they last for like five days you have to pick between two of them and there's like way more there's just more involved than like a normal go catch three fish type uh type quest oh my which is god fun. Uh, yeah. this is go gonna ruin me lawyer. it's like go see all the divorce lawyers in town so your wife can't because <laughs> of the conflict of interest yeah you <laughs> go fuck over your up. wife she ain't getting shit yeah. You know that yeah, go, uh, <laughs> they uh, go, go there's ahead, all ahead. kinds of mods for it. So I mean, te- technically, we could make that real. We could make a mod for the game that is literally. You can get your like... wife's money too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, it's so Jesus funny. Christ. And then, like, there's a function where you have to split your beanie babies up <laughs> in the middle of the court. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Soprano on on the skin decks. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! They did it. <laughs> I'll send it in the chat here. Oh shit! A Tony uh, Soprano my... skin. Oh, yeah, for Minecraft. Oh, my God. Oh, what the fuck? That is so good. <laughs> that's so good. Pretty fucking Mike, the only the only thing I know about t- the Sopranos is the comic I mean. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I don't. I know it's about that's, guys. That's so funny. They got they got oh going out for God. orange juice robe, Tony. Yeah, they have his like, <laughs> and that's the best one. Yeah, that's great. Holy shit, man! Amazing. Do you Good have to buy Tony. them? Because I will. <laughs> no, it's free. It's fucking oh free. I'm going to be Tony the next time he plays it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, I'd say like a Christopher Balasanti. <laughs> <laughs> You're like Where's some thought fall? guy right now, and then you're gonna turn into just pure sexual energy. <laughs> totally, oh my god, guys! Oh my god! Holy <laughs> shit! One of these is actually really good. Check that. Check it out. All right. <laughs> Christopher Mulder. Can we screen share? Oh my god! Can we screen share? No, maybe it's not worth it. <laughs> no, it is. Christopher. Uh, Do you see incredible. that shit? Is pretty. It's incredible. Yeah. God. The neck brace. Well, on my, on my own time when I should be doing something else, I'll uh, look up every other character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have been. Uh, I've been, likewise, Sam, feeling very gross about how much fucking time I've been putting into like, basically a nothing <laughs> activity <laughs> this week. Especially, I'm like, man, I really got to get get to it with the drawing, and I have yet to like take a crack at it. And uh, I'm like, man, I probably put in 12 hours into a video game, <laughs> into a cartoon farm, <laughs> tending to 8-bit crops. <laughs> well, I'm Holy tagging shit. in, Mike. I've been pretty productive recently, <laughs> and now that's all going to shit. Hell yeah. Nice. Um, nice. You can have my productivity. All right. I'll actually take this moment to uh, announce my next comic. I'm Ooh. going to start dropping oh, original shit. new <laughs> comics 15th next month. My uh, my Holy my paid shit. subs get first crack at the new comics, oh my and I'm God. saying it Is out loud like right another- now. To force myself to actually get started. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't even That's started. Awesome. I've started writing, but oh, I have okay. yet to then start drawing. Good. That's the hard part. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I, I figure it's time. I'm. I've been. Uh, I've been um, messing around with the stuff I've already made for a while now. And I'm like, ah, I'm. I've got. I got to get that new juice flowing. I got to get that <laughs> new stuff. So I'm going to start on that yeah. and I've slowly started like posting the individual comics piecemeal on orangeflavor.fun just uh, it's already available as like a download but now you can just read them right on the website too is like just an easy way to check shit out. Just go to orangeflavor.fun. Enjoy. It's really nice to have the copy. Yeah. Of it. Like yeah. And it's good quality. Oh, like, yeah. I was looking at the paper because I want to try and start making the art book. Yeah, and you chose like good quality paper too. Yeah, the the that print place is pretty sick. I actually have to hit them up. Manolo used a, 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 a like a, a referral code, and they haven't mm. populated that on my account yet. I want oh. that ref- like it's twenty five dollar Amazon card, baby. Give me, give me. Do you get another referral? Because I might use it too. Yeah, I'll be able to give you. Uh, I think it's fifteen percent off for whoever uses the referral, and then I get oh, fuck some yeah. some goodie too. But yeah, they're really really good. They're super fast, uh, and yeah, like that. Um, I think it was like the the paper I picked was like one step up from the cheapest version, so yeah. you can go a little cheaper, and it, I would imagine would be still pretty decent. Um, but I didn't like I didn't like go crazy and like pick all the highest end shit either. Yeah. Um, so well, do I would, they? I would, uh, oh, do they send you like a prototype or like would they? Yeah, you can get a. Um, it was it was really good actually. Yeah, they do like they send you shit like this. Like this is. Um, these are all like paper examples. Oh. Um, so you can like feel the thickness and the texture and. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I think, I think I wanted. I went with this is what I did. The 80, uh, 80 unco- uncoded, or maybe matte. Maybe I did eighty matte. But yeah. Um, yeah, they go all the way down to sixty, and then they go all the way up to, I don't know, something more than eighty, a hundred. Um, yeah, hundred feels like almost like uh, uh, cardstock, um, but yeah, they they they're very reasonably priced uh, for being yeah, I was looking, an American it's company. Um, yeah, just like go like when you're trying to price it out, just make sure you uh, add in shipping because that is like it's legit. Like 
probably will add depending on how many you get so anywhere from like 30 to 100 dollars damn uh, yeah it sucks like but um it's still you, you can like you can get away with spending you know in the hundreds and still have a, a fair amount of of stuff printed which is good yeah um, yeah they're they're good I totally. recommend they're uh, we're talking about what's their name printing center USA.com. Of course they're good. It's a, mm. it's an American company. <laughs> One of the best baby. I think they're in Montana, which is wild. The best state. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> oh man. Um, I have another comic book event this weekend actually Ooh. i'm gonna be oh, upstate shit. at uh what is it called it's a shirt factory comic expo um mm. put on by a local bookstore up there which is kind of cool yeah, I'm excited Mikey, you're to killing see it. It. yeah yeah man i'm really impressed sure. yeah I, I... and then you say like oh i'm not productive <laughs> Well, I mean, I've just been wanting to draw like oh, so yeah. bad, and I just have like yeah. been like like eh, I could draw tomorrow and play fucking Stardew Valley for another three fucking hours. This is disgusting, <laughs> disgusting. But it's fun. Uh, it's very very fun. And you know, video game when it comes to, sometimes these days, the video games are reality. I'm choosing video games. <laughs> So what? true, dude. <laughs> I hate my life. <laughs> you know, when it comes to choosing video games or sunlight, I'm choosing video games, bitch. They make vid- vitamin D a pill, so. Yeah. I'm taking vitamin it- V for video game. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to the down to either a lover's touch or video games. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i'd rather just, get divorced in stardew valley <laughs> I'd, wa- I'd rather kill my wife in fable 3 <laughs> and then, then my sword will look more evil <laughs> i'll finally grow game. horns <laughs> i love it that game, they were like, the guy was like, that fucking Fable 3 guy was like, you customize your sword, but it's not in like a fucking menu, right? Where you're like, it's not like Photoshop, right? You customize it with how you act. <laughs> so if you're good, it's like, so if you're good, it's going to be like, looks like a dolphin, sort of. But if you're bad, it's going to be fucking red, pointy. <laughs> It's just like, okay, so I lost control. (laughs) Yeah, that is so cool. He would have these great, like, theoretical ideas. What was his name? Is that Peter Molyneux? Is that his name? Yeah. Yeah. And, like, those promo videos, he was always just, like, in an office somewhere. (laughs) And there'd be, like, a TV by him. And he'd just be like, look at the fucking, there's so much crazy shit with this (laughs) game. And then, like, the games were cool, but they weren't, like, ever <laughs> close to what he described. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember the, there, there was a demo? Um, he's showing a demo for a game called Milo. Do you remember this? Where he's talking. Yes, it was like, yes. a, like a, you could talk to the boy, and then he would respond. It was basically like, mm-hmm. he was like, prom- he was essentially promising chat GPT before <laughs> chat GPT existed, where it's like, he'll be able to understand anything you say. You will <laughs> fall in love with this 12 year old. Oh my God. <laughs> so, yeah, he invented chat GPT, but for a prepubescent boy. <laughs> <laughs> Like it's like you can just talk to this nine year old. The best catch a predator. The best part was the username of the of the like creepy guy of the pedophile, and I always be like, his name was Big Cock sixty nine. Like, like big. His name was Big Blank Sharp Tooth Shark. Or twenty, and it was just like. Yes. Yeah, get it, His Chris. name was Boy Splitter seventy seven. 
<laughs> no. His name was. <laughs> His name was Crystalia, 1973. <laughs> <laughs> Crystalia, oh my god. Uh, what a hmm. world. What a world. What's Peter Molyneux up to? Get out, get us a new weird game that you overpromised, mm-hmm. god damn it. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever play Fable, uh, Melisande? I feel like that would be right up your alley. No, but I've heard, and yeah. I think you're not the first person to say that. Yeah, it. Um, what, what's it on? It was like original Xbox, I think. Xbox, Maybe Xbox yeah, 360. Like Xbox too? exclusive. Yeah. yeah, I think it was one of those like just Microsoft games, Xbox 360. I think you're right. But yeah, that's why my bitch yeah. of a mom wouldn't let me have a console. <laughs> Yeah. I'm sorry, Jeez. mom. I just told um, my whole family about a po- my po- this podcast like yesterday, oh, yeah? and so now I take that back, mom. I'm sorry. I love you. <laughs> sorry, mom. Hi, Mrs. Oz. Very sorry. Hi. <laughs> uh, don't worry. <laughs> She's not listening. She doesn't want to. She doesn't want to be disappointed in me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time. Gotcha was like, can I do my work in here while you're doing the podcast? And I had to tell her, like, I mean, it's a video game podcast. Like, you're going to want to kill me. Stay <laughs> in here. <laughs> Our loved ones you're should gonna... never listen. Yeah, for real. Your, your attractiveness to me is just going to, like, <laughs> wane. <Love it. laughs> Dry up so fast. No uh, way. Man, I know, man. and... I've gotten people like my coworkers and um, shout out your mail. Uh, and they're like, oh, I was listening. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> all those Don't things know. I said, all those horrible things. Was it Christmas story? The line, all those horrible things I said, she heard. <laughs> He's beating up the beating up the bully and swearing. Over oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But I didn't say fudge. <laughs> yeah. It was the big one. <laughs> F A <laughs> Dash 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 <laughs> It's gamer it's part of gamer uh, culture, guys. I know it's you know it's not okay. quite right, but we're trying. We're <laughs> it's slowly dying. Don't worry. Eventually, gamers slowly. will catch up with regular people. Last... <laughs> yeah, gamers are like Neanderthals. Like social skills and cultural awareness. It's like, oh, dude, you don't understand. They haven't even encountered Homo sapiens. <laughs> <laughs> They're their own political no. party. <laughs> yeah. They hate no, the but the la- shit too. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking last scene in that movie where they go to the Chinese restaurant. I remember I was rewatching Christmas Story, and I was like, "Oh man, this movie rocks!" And then you get to that last scene, like the Chinese yeah. restaurant, oh, and no. they bring out the duck and cut the duck's head off, and like the mom screams. It's <laughs> so great. A class. I was like, when oh I first saw that, I was like, "That's so funny." It's cool. A it's gamer so funny and so cool. <laughs> Gamers are like, if they're like a political party, they're like, um, they're like uh, the racism of a Republican plus the love the idea of UBI. <laughs> like they just want to stay home and collect checks. <laughs> 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 just like this is awesome the government buys all my food for me and I stay online all day and say slurs <laughs> my 600 pound <laughs> one guy who was from 600 pound life that was a big gamer he lost all the weight Oh, good. Did you? Remember, I, I don't know if you guys. I, I talk about that show like it's Seinfeld. <laughs> <laughs> you see that episode? Yeah. You know the the Jared episode. 
God damn it. That's so funny. Have you seen those horrific, that TikTok of like the guy, It's he lives in this like disgusting trash pit, but he cooks and he cooks oh. like moldy food in there. Oh, I think yeah. It's, I think... Is he like a Japanese guy? In, yeah, like, I one think of he's those Japanese. Really small apartments, like yeah. not even apartment, like box. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. That shit makes me Ooh. sad. <laughs> yeah. And have you seen the guy who's doing it in like bathroom sinks? <laughs> yeah. The guy who cooks in bathroom sinks. Yeah, he like chops up no. hot dogs on like the the cover of his toilet. <laughs> Owl. Like, yeah. So oh, gross. God. I I'm like this like, one has to be a bit. Like this is so psychotic. It, like I want to believe it's a bit at least. It. Ugh. The fuckers eat it at the gross, end. You know? Or he goes so in the airplane tastes like bathroom. toothpaste. <laughs> just ice cream just, with toothpaste you know, on it. That's the worst part. It's Ugh. not the cutting up the the food on the toilet seat. It's the fact that everything tastes like toothpaste. <laughs> and you have fluoride poisoning now. Oh my fucking god. And guess what? That's where the roaches come through is the fucking sink. Ugh. So no, that's their little no. what? They're oh, speaking more, of sinks, I finally fixed my uh, pee trap. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yay! Made I've me feel promising. really good. <laughs> You're a real man <laughs> now, yeah. Micah. This is just like Stardew Valley. <laughs> <laughs> wow, when you complete a quest in real life, it feels just as good as a video game. <laughs> That's how you incentivize I... gamers to do anything. You're just like, it's a quest. <laughs> Honestly, I like your bottom, please. If I if I finish screwing that thing on and I heard a ding and a bunch of coins fell on my head, I'd be psyched. <laughs> hey, Mike, you I'll just throw see the coins at you any day. <laughs> <laughs> that's what fallout quest completed hell yeah that's what um I mean, uh wifeys should be doing for their uh video game husbands throwing coins at them when they finish a household it chore would work. <laughs> i have i have these tokens for um <laughs> the vending machine so i'll just start pelting them at you whenever you do something good <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you gave a dollar so to a homeless guy. <laughs> <laughs> right in my temple. Ah! Oh, that'd be yeah. real. <laughs> Gamer husband would get like a shot caller, and then be like, whenever you complete a quest, you you just give him like the remote. So you're, like you get ten shots. <laughs> they just fucking kill you right away. <laughs> oh my god. Shock collar and a cock ring and a... <laughs> yeah. just all what done up like, like a cock. dog on a leash. <laughs> yeah. you get a cock cage. I love my you gamer husband. <laughs> He's in a gift Every suit. Time... <laughs> yeah. you get to like a neon Evangeline, like <laughs> skinned <laughs> gimp suit. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, Sam? Uh, Sorry. Oh God, no, just I, it, 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 like, oh yeah, three hours extra in the cock cage. <laughs> cage <of> cock up. <laughs> extra time in the cage in the penalty box. Oh, you get an achievement if you last six hours in the cock. It's like cage. I'll stop. <laughs> If you complete this quest, I will stop mistreating you for two hours. <laughs> I will stop weaponizing my emotions. This is a good. This is a good reality show. We should get a bunch of gamers in a house, and they're like completing yeah. real life quests like this. <laughs> <laughs> and they gotta wear like shock collars and. Butt plugs. Butt plugs. Sexual stimulation uh, is a reward. This is good. We do it on OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah. They're the nerd reality show that was on um, Sci Fi. It was like two different teams of nerds, and it was like Survivor. Oh, okay. I was thinking of something edition. different. What? What were you thinking of? I was thinking of, I don't remember what it was called, but it was like a play on Beauty and the Beast or something, like the nerd and the. It was like a dating show, 
the hell was that called? Oh, okay. It was like back from the days of like the. Is it King of the Nerds? Man, maybe the fuck was it called? Nerds was the one I was describing. I think Beauty and the Geek. British, yes. Oh, it was a dating show true. where they had like hot girls and then like literal gamer bod guys. And the, what the guys and what like. All of the girls were competing not to get chosen. <laughs> like it was like yeah. uh, they were I like, re- I smell bad and <laughs> I fart all the time. I have IBS. Please don't choose me. <laughs> I can't remember how I, it yeah, worked. Have, King of the give nerds. The guy a bunch of Bitcoin just to make him attractive. <laughs> You know, the nerds, it was like hosted by the two stars of Revenge of the Nerds, the movie. And the it was fuck? like, it was sort of like Big Brother, or like where they were like just teams, I guess, and they would compete against each other. Um, but there was just some funny YouTube clips of like one member being like, obviously, I'm the right pick. Like, it's because there's an elimination round or something. Right. And he's like, it's just saying all this, like, really. <laughs> horrible the essence of like why nerds get the shit kicked out of <laughs> you know um yeah god get that's nerds. great i want more of like a yeah. hunger games situation i want these fuckers Dead. like yeah i want them like uh, uh paintballing each other i want oh, yes. like yeah, cock cages, as you were saying. Cock cages uh, and paintball. Dog masks. <laughs> <laughs> I want like a furry <laughs> undercurrent. <laughs> yes, I mean there has to be. If we don't provide, they will. Oh, yeah. They all have their oh, own definitely. masks. Those sick fucks. <laughs> oh, Those man. fucking. My sister has a friend Jesus. that like professionally makes furry outfits. Whoa. And she makes oh. so much money. I believe. It's, it's crazy. Expensive, those costumes. Yeah. Right Sam would know. He has four. <laughs> yeah, I I know that, you know, it's like what? It's like four thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> For a good one. With tax and shipping like- not included. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I do have a referral. Dude, code. I mean, <laughs> I'm completely upside down on my collection. <laughs> it just sucks. I mean, if you don't get your first Sona right the first time, you're out like 12 grand. <laughs> I'm in extreme debt because I just have too many furry outfits that don't fit me anymore. You, you really have to firmly decide what animal you're going to be because... <laughs> You're changing stems, man. That's <laughs> that's what gets you. Adds up uh, quick. Adds up quick. <laughs> man, that's I a. Wonder how many hours? How, I wonder how many hours in their lives they spend uh, crinkling. That's spend the what? Diaper crinkling, <laughs> which is where they they like have diapers. You know, they like what? Let me just go. I'm pretty sure it's like shitting in their pants in their diaper. <laughs> we like on pur- like on purpose. Because they can't take the suit off. Or oh, that makes sense, and that's horrifying. <laughs> yeah, crinkling urban uh, urban dish. <laughs> oh my god, furries! Okay. That's just so... why people don't like you. It's not because you're freaky. It's because you shit your pants on purpose. <laughs> This is the definition. Crinkling is furries walking around in diapers, mostly filled. <laughs> no. Yeah. I, I, that's got to be a subgenre of furry. I I I, I got to stick up for our furry side of our audience here. Yeah, it's no, got to be not some. All <laughs> not all furries. <laughs> not right. all furries. Yeah. I mean, what what happens when you got to take a shit? You. <laughs> I mean, that's what women do on their wedding day, I'm pretty sure. So true. They just wear diapers. Oh, Have you seen those skirts? There's no way. <laughs> I know that Marshall uh, had to have multiple people help her go to the bathroom when she was in her wedding dress. I, She looked great, and I love those photos of her sitting down and, like, like legs, like... <laughs> So funny. Oh, 
That's hilarious. Man, I was thinking uh, uh, the other day, furries used to be like shunned. Now I feel like they're like, yeah, it's like they're like cosplayers, whatever. Like they're like, everyone's like, they're just like, there's so much more fucked up insane shit in the world that <laughs> furries are just like a big shrug now. Yeah, like, all right, you do you. At least you're not murdering Yeah, exactly. People. At least you're not right. adding to America's body count. <laughs> in more ways Christ. than one. God. Yeah, There's an... I don't know if we... Oh, let's go ahead. Yeah, I was just gonna say the I I have seen quite a few like furries getting fucked with in public videos recently. Really? Uh... Like the tails. I saw I saw a tail theft video. Uh, oh no. Yeah, imagine I'm saying this because it happened to me, but I'm saying it was like on the or something. But no, yeah, I saw these kids. I just saw a kid steal a tail, and then you see this like pink tiger running after. Oh my god! Um, <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, so it does five hundred dollars, you little <laughs> shit. Oh my god. Uh, I, uh, I sold my grandma's wedding ring for that tail. <laughs> Do you I, think uh, there are any furries in the... <laughs> go for it, go for it, go for it. I was going to say, uh, I, I uh, worked at a um, school district back in the day, and the IT guy had furry art on his fucking like, wall behind his desk, and I'm like... I think I'm the only person who knows exactly what that means. You're a fucking, f and he would like talk about how he loved to go on weekends. There was like a wolf rehabilitation center. And he's like, oh, I just go and no. sit and they walk up to me. It's just so magical. And then I present my Bible. Yeah, exactly. I was like, holy shit. This is a straight up furry. That's like he had like a star Fox looking like fursona character on like his like pin board behind his desk and the and, like, hiring managers is just like i love a guy who loves nature <laughs> no, it wasn't his background in this computer screen. no when you first said furry art no. i interpreted as a guy in his office with furry <laughs> art like framed on his <laughs> like a tv <laughs> It's on his pegboard. It's on his pegboard. It's still crazy. Yeah, instead I mean, of pictures of his right? family, pictures of furry art. <laughs> he don't got no family. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I had to picture my son down because I really wanted to put up this uh, My Little Pony poster. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's a subgenre that might not ever get acceptance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah like we can handle the furries but the bronies are a whole new level of <laughs> yeah man yeah I that is like a with the bronies one. you just gotta kind of you gotta wonder if there's something a little more sinister going on there. <laughs> i mean yeah. maybe that's you know what let me just actually let me reframe this. Let me not have a Hillary Clinton basket of deplorables. <laughs> <laughs> you know, guys out there that love My Little Pony, I think you're totally cool. Just forget everything I said. I feel like it. I feel like guys who like My Little Pony talk about My Little Pony like guys who go to Hooters for the wings. <laughs> mm -hmm. like, no, but the rings are really good. No, it's about friendship. <laughs> It's not about that hot horse ass. <laughs> I like to fuck what? the chicken wings. That's why I yeah. got <laughs> I just really find chicken wings sexy. <laughs> I've never met a, a brony in real life. I mean, I know that was a whole thing for a minute there for sure. Or maybe you have. They're just this is true. a little shy. That's true. I, I very well could have. Who knows? Maybe that IT guy was, you know, on the brony uh, thing early as well. Who knows? Maybe one of them is sitting right in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there's someone in my house. <laughs> Get here. Brony, a brony naked sitting behind your computer monitor is cox covered by like the computer <laughs> monitor post. <laughs> 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 Your monitor is feet planted. 
<laughs> take a smell. <laughs> Scratch and sniff all over again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh boy. Have you guys been uh, uh, reading anything good? Watching anything good? No, I just I had to put a pause on my One Piece today because I oh, was yeah. at the episode where like everything goes to shit and there's so much crying and I'm like I can't bring this kind of energy to my boys I gotta so I turned it off and just you know like thought about thought about life <laughs> and what makes it good yeah <laughs> what are you up so, to in one I, piece I'm at the like marine full like ace his brother's getting killed white beard just died it was it's like horrific and it's sad for a while from what huh. i remember so it's just like you like a really, hundred episodes a in guy. what do you think no probably like 500 episodes <laughs> in that blows Holy my shit. mind that they can Here, wait, I crank shit out like that i was i uh and ended, how many it. there are dude i was i was oh, there's thousand yeah i interviewed uh larry legend the other day I awesome musician super fun check it yeah. out on the stream or on uh, the youtube channel um and i was telling him like the difference between uh the like the marvel m a way of making comics and like the 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 shonen jump style manga where that's like one dude with like a couple assistants every single fucking week delivering an issue like thousands in a row mm. without ceasing that's why like all these manga dudes just fucking drop dead early because yeah. they're just work themselves to death it's insane no kidding yeah i'm on episode it's... 484 that's wild i know I so like up, there are a thousand and ninety eight episodes of one piece that's yeah. fucking crazy and it's like halfway through <laughs> like storyline yeah. wise it's like halfway through yeah. it's crazy i i like pray to god every single night and i say please don't kill him we i didn't know it was like that they kill off characters left and right they, i mean they don't usually but mm. like you know to get it's kind of one of those where like you kind of know who's gonna die because for luffy the character to win to become king of the pirates he does have to like you know beat all of these other people right and so like you get to and like usually he like becomes friends with all of these people so it's like he has to you know so like this is a way of killing his brother without him having to kill his brother and uh. get really dark so it was like i don't know i think that's kind of when people die is because like gotcha. hey luffy needs to progress right and he can't do it when they're alive so gotcha i don't know i think that's my theory is like because i had to look up on the internet who dies in one piece to emotionally prepare myself and yeah. everyone's like these are the next people that are probably gonna die and i'm like yeah makes sense yeah and manga when people die they usually stay dead unless it's like built in that there's a way to bring yeah. people back like there's yeah, you're you're kissing your favorite mm. character goodbye. I know, and Ace was hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst part. He was like one of the sexier characters. Damn. So now, damn it, where? Fuck. What am I gonna Fuck. look at? <laughs> Luffy's like asexual he's never gonna fuck like I'm, I'm, he doesn't even want to i'm picturing you having this exact conversation during your uh, vagina operation <laughs> oh my god i would just like I luffy's not nearly as hot as this <laughs> 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 and everybody thinks that girls like Zoro, but all we want is Sanji. She's like, uh huh. I'm gonna move it a little to the left. Look at your left ovary now. And I'm like, but really, it's the character development. <laughs> and it's not that Ace is uh. hot just because he's like hot, you know? It's because he's got a good personality and he's really nice to his brother. She's like, can you stop coming, please? <laughs> I mean, 
Could you just like maybe just, just come yeah. once per session? <laughs> and then, yeah, I need more towels over five. here. <laughs> She's like, I didn't even need to loop you up. You got, you came prepared. <laughs> Well, I am on episode suit. 487. <laughs> so she's like, oh, it makes sense. <laughs> Your prescription is get to 502 <laughs> and stop. Come straight here. That's so funny. Man, yeah, they're they're quite a commitment, those uh, mangas and animes. It really is. Yeah. That's a lot just... Yeah, that's wild. That's so much fucking... So many people, so many man hours to do a thousand pieces of animation. Holy fuck. Yeah. And granted, they do the kind of like half-ass animation sometimes. There's a lot of flashbacks. There's a lot of like repeat episodes that you just skip over. A lot of slow pan over a blinking person. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. 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 And like sometimes they don't even blink. It's just like yeah it's surprising though like how much of that they can sell even though it's like clearly they're just like desperately trying to like do as least amount of work as possible like they can often sell it more than you would think um well that's also why it makes it good to like do work like because i don't just sit down and watch it like i'm painting right and so like i don't really feel obligated to watch all of it got it it's like half podcast half it's kind of like this where it's like all right like you can look because we're pretty but (laughs) right you know totally you don't have no yeah you can just paint totally i mean dragon so much of the fights in dragon ball z is just like them talking you know like you seriously thought you could fucking kick my ass? Are you yeah. fucking joking me? Yeah. Are you fucking joking me? Because um, guess what? I've been training very... And like from far away, it's just two dudes floating in the air like, yeah. looking at each other. You're like, how were you up there for so long? You jumped. <laughs> exactly. Gravity is not the same in anime. No, not yeah. at all. They're all on the moon. Dragon Ball mm-hmm. Z is even worse because they were they would do those episodes... They would do episodes that... They were literally just filling time, waiting for the next uh, manga to get finished, like so they could turn it into mm. an episode. So they didn't have any script Holy or anything. Shit. So like anytime you see an episode like that, or when a guy's just like ah, ah, for like a five minute stretch, it's because they're just trying to hit the twenty minute mark with as little uh, like like actual story as possible because they don't yeah. have fucking anything for next week yet. Holy shit. Did I it's tell wild. y'all that I did watch Dragon Balls? Not the Z one where they're yeah. buff, but the one where he's adorable. Yeah. It's so cute. The, I'm really into it. It's oh, super yeah. funny. Like, um, it eventually, I think he invented that whole genre of like the, the like, I'm more powerful. Like, like not invented it, yeah. but like he, he came up with that. He was the first one to use that trope at Shonen Jump. And then, like, yeah. eventually they all Everyone started starts doing that. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But um, <laughs> Dragon Ball is way more of a comedy than that, than like an action thing. And it's, it's really yeah, fun. Yeah. I need that. I can't handle all these buff boys. Yeah. I, even I, I like, mean, I was a super I can't fan. I keep going to the guy now. <laughs> I was uh, super into it when I was 14. And even I, after that, was like, after like a, cer- like a certain season turned over and it was like a new ultimate bad guy, I was like, this is the same thing over again. I don't think I yeah, really this is care. Never end. Yeah. And I just kind of tuned out from there. Mm-hmm. But that um, happened to Bleach with me. I was uh, just like, all right. Like, yeah. Come on. It happens to me a lot with with TV shows. Like I just can't fucking invest in them anymore. A, a lot more uh, recently, um, but yeah, I actually want to try and watch I mean, that's this. What, and, what? Uh, that's what One Piece. I mean, that's what makes One Piece good. Is it doesn't do that. That's pretty I gotta good. Say. Yeah, five hundred like, episodes. Keep it is interesting. Insane that that's that's just like a master yeah. storyteller. Then like if they can oh, keep you entertained really the whole good. time, yeah, that's yeah. Because they do have that like you know escalation because you kind of have to, right? But 
it's like good story throughout the entire thing. That's awesome. I don't know. Anyway, you were saying. Oh, I was just going to say, I kind of want to check out that. um, There's a new Netflix sci-fi alien show. It's called uh, Three Body Problem. Oh, Uh, I think it's based on a book or something. Oh, did he watch it? He read it. Oh, interesting. Yeah, Yeah, the trailer looked good. Um, So I think I might check that out. Have you guys have you guys seen that show from? I think it's like an Amazon oh. thing, but it's like, like that monster is just like other people, like they're just everyday look like everyday people. It's sort of like a body snatchers kind of thing. Interesting. But I saw a couple of little clips of it. it looked cool. I did see a dream scenario. Did you guys see this? Oh no, I wanted to. That was it good. It's yeah. I mean, I don't want to ruin it for you. No, that's um, fine. It's like. Like really pretty sad. Oh, and, that sucks. It doesn't look sad at yeah. all. It looks like very funny. Like sad and that's the one where people yeah, are seeing know, Nicolas wanna... Cage in the in their dreams, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. I think it's <laughs> like a. I don't want to say anything to you know affect your, but it's a yeah. I I wasn't super impressed it was good it wasn't great gotcha. i feel like they didn't really um but you know there's some there's some cool funny stuff in there nick cage is amazing i mean it's one of those deals where the movie around him isn't great but him especially this character like this particular character i feel like the closest I don't know. It's just like because he's this is such a kind of you know loser, forgettable <laughs> guy. But he has these very particular mannerisms. Um, it's almost like an adaptation vibe, a little bit, just like sparks of yeah. that. Like not really, but um, yeah, I, he was incredible. Um, That's cool. But it wasn't. Yeah, but wasn't... I, it's still worth watching. I think it's on HBO. I like the concept a lot. It's a really cool idea. We uh, we made, <laughs> we made a sketch that had like a similar premise, and Marshall's like jokingly being like, "They must have saw it. They stole her idea." <laughs> it's like everybody went to. We did a sketch where everybody goes to like this group therapy because they all dream about the same guy, and um, <laughs> yeah, it was kind of interesting. Are but, you the guy in the? No, uh, <laughs> B- Bardia's the guy. Um, and Sefa is, uh, he's like the star of it. Um, I drew all the, I think I drew all the pictures of them or no, maybe I only draw one. I can't remember, but it's like, they all draw this, like draw who you see in your dream. And then they all like reveal their drawings and it's all (laughs) Barty or no, it was Manolo. They all see Manolo in their dreams. That's who it is. Oh Uh, yeah. Um, sorry. I got mixed up. Yeah, but uh, Marshall was person. joking. <laughs> yeah, totally interchangeable. Same exact yeah. personality. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, Manola's crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, it did. Uh, I did like the concept it. a lot, and it's that's too bad. It was just kind of okay, but that's most mm. shit these days. Is it's just kind of okay, unfortunately. Mm. like a lot of times nowadays they just like don't stick the landing yeah it's just a premise and no punchline or conclusion this one was like a little bit of that same thing but what i will say is it's totally worth watching it for the the performance i mean it's like a fucking vampire's kiss (laughs) but not like he's like that but you know that it's like one of those ones where it's like Mm. oh god damn very memorable, um, very specific, and very relatable, I think, in ways. Like, um, people critique him that he's always he's always kind of looking for an insult in every piece of commentary about him. He's very, like, it's like, <laughs> I don't say it's relatable, but it's like, he he really, it's, it's a, his performance is fucking bonkers in it. Cool. Um, but like it's heartbreaking. But mm. Yeah. He, uh, it's nice when there's like a premium, premium, you know, on the, 
Yeah, but continue. I was just going to say you're making me think of like Nick Cage movies. And um, I remember really liking uh, The the Weatherman. Did you ever see that one? I don't think so. It was kind of like a sleeper. Uh, uh, like, I think it was like well reviewed, but I just like, I don't think a lot of people saw it or something, but he's like, he's, he's just, oh, he's a weatherman. Shit. And, uh, and he's like, got just going through a sort of like a family crisis. Uh, I remember seeing good. trailers for this. Yeah. It's one yeah. of those ones that kind of just slipped by, but I remember quite enjoying it. And, uh, his, um, um, movie he did with David Lynch wild at heart. Have you seen that? Uh, it's him and Laura Dern are like like weirdo in love freaks, and it's like all like like I don't you know I don't even know how to describe it, but it's a great movie to watch if you like if you like uh, Nick Cage and uh, uh, David Lynch. Yeah, I had a roommate yeah. in college that slept with a Nick Cage pillowcase. <laughs> That's awesome. Awesome. Was it the was it the one with that you? Uh, Sequin was the sequin oh, one yeah. where you can like brush it off. Oh my god, it. it should have been. It was just kind of yeah. slightly stained. <laughs> it's funny From how, like, talking about you, you talking about a David Lynch movie, it's just like, I mean, obviously, like, they're not as good anymore. God, it just it makes me hard thinking about a fucking David Lynch because they're so goddamn good and like different. And now, nowadays, like, God, compared to that, most of it is just such shit. Yeah. yeah fucking or uh, things. Uh, fucking. Uh, I'm I sorry. Did. Zone of interest. The zone of board. I was. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just no blasted ass shit. Yeah, like I know what you're saying. On a point. I like. I, I I enjoyed poor things, but I know what you're saying. Like everything is played up as like, it's in- incredible and it's just okay to bad. Like, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like it's hard. It's hard to make something really good that, that, that just is fantastic. It's just so fucking rare and it feels mm. even harder. Now everyone's like fucking jaded and fucked out or something. I don't know. What's and going all the on. like, CEOs of shit that are like making things are just so desperate to like make money so they just like try and keep capitalizing on things that they know people already like which is like why you get all of these reboots of like the yeah. One Piece and the Avatar where they're just yeah. like that the used to make money I'm gonna keep doing that on repeat Fucking nothing Beetlejuice that's too. slightly dangerous <laughs> yeah Beetlejuice too yeah. that is kind of wild I mean Jesus Christ. That is so strange that that is happening. I, w- I hate Eaton it. did did like Birdman. Yeah. And then and as like this commentary of like how his only his most notable character was Batman and then like 2 years later he was the vulture <laughs> in a fucking Spider-Man movie and now here he is as fucking Beetlejuice again. I mean yeah. it's a little weird yeah. don't you think like, yeah what are we on uh ghostbuster 7 now what is this fucking yeah. like it's just weird very weird and it, it's not working either no. is the thing like Mm-mm. they're fucking yeah, it just, up so bad i was just thinking about this the other day like back before the marvel movies and stuff people would say shit like Dude, wouldn't it be cool if they fucking rebooted like this old franchise? If they rebooted Ghostbusters, or if there's a fucking Ghostbusters three, yeah. and it's like then they now they're doing that. Now that's everything that comes out. Yeah, it all like sucks so bad. It's yeah, just that's not... how you know. Yeah, that's how you know your phone is listening to you. Because <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. they're like, all right, yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> That's probably we'll fucking true. We'll sink millions of dollars into this project just because your phone <laughs> yeah. said something. <laughs> That's probably the fucking superhero true. Superhero movies were so few and far between. It was like the idea of one with all of them the an Avengers movie that'd be fucking crazy. Dude. And then <laughs> they just they just they just fucked us right in the mouth with what we wanted, and we've been sucking on sucking on shafts ever since. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. We keep getting post come dribbles and we're loving <laughs> it. Yeah. Flaccid dick, like running clear half come. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was the Beetlejuice too. Can we stay on that for just, just a yeah. second? Yeah, I watched the trailer, is... and then not only is it Beetlejuice too, it's like like the flavor of the month. Uh, actor girl, what's her name? Um, yes, uh, uh, Hannah Ortega, Jenna Ortega. Yeah, um, yeah. It's just yeah, it's weird. It is very weird. Like. It's just grasping at straws to like get people mm-hmm. excited. It feels like, um, I think we're, yeah. if not in an economic depression, I think we're in like a fucking mental funk that like nobody's oh, yeah. excited yeah, yeah. about anything. Nobody like can get anything quite right. <laughs> like as far as like entertainment or it's very weird. Here's Except for Stardew Valley. Like Mwah. To- yeah. <laughs> Here's a question I would like to pose to you two. I do you ever feel like the scent of the sense of kind of content nausea? Like there's just kind of too much shit. I just feel like there's so 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 much, especially living in a place like Brooklyn. Like every coffee shop you go to, like you hear some motherfucker talking about like my film, my new film. That's coming <laughs> yeah. Out. Oh my god! And I it's have like, no idea. I work at a coffee shop, and every yeah. single day there's some dude or girl sitting there talking way too loud about Uh their screenplay and i'm like you want me to hear it and i don't give a shit exactly and it's It's sad like god forbid i work at the lower east side location (laughs) it's horrible oh like it's at what point is it just i don't know i mean i yeah I, i i like movies i love art and stuff but it's just a little bit too much shit blast in my ass constantly i think Mm -hmm. there's going in every everything feels self-conscious or like um too considered or something or like filtered or there's just something going on right now where people aren't being fully honest or something like nothing feels like this is what i thought was real this is well this is genuinely like the juice of that was from my brain. This is my idea. This is my thing. It's just, everything is kind of like couched and like, uh, I don't know, filtered. It's not, it's not a good, good time for exciting, juicy ideas right now. That's for damn sure. Like, like the idea of like outsider art, I feel like is just not, (laughs) what is it? It's here, like now because yeah. it's like every fucking indie venue is just like two degrees away from an urban outfitters i feel like in terms <laughs> of like the yeah you know the show spots and um i don't know maybe i'm just sounded maybe i'm just like sounding being pessimistic but no i, uh, I know what you're saying <laughs> i mean I, I i try to like stay optimistic and be excited about stuff there is a lot of good like single creator weird fun stuff but like yeah when you're getting into the 2 million 10 million 100 million like to make a movie like zone like yeah it's pretty it's pretty yeah. dead it's pretty fucking dead <laughs> um, yeah like you, you, and also it's like i also like to uh like mine the old stuff like the stuff you've missed the stuff you you know you should get to and 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 stuff like that when it's when it just feels like nothing new is exciting you, it's good to remember mm-hmm. that there's a, a 10 million things that are fantastic from the past that you'll never have the time to yes. read it all or look at it mm-hmm. all. And to like start That's actually, such a good perspective. actually, I decided, you know what? I, I never got, was like a Marvel dude and I missed out on fucking Ditko and Kirby. So I invested in these, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, the penguin, like, masterworks. Uh, yeah, penguin classics, Marvel masterworks, baby. Marvel collection. Um, oh yes. And I've been reading, uh, reading the old uh, Jack Kirby, X Men, Steve Ditko, Spider Man. It's really fun. Um, 
and just to like absorb the art the art is very cool i was looking at it, i was like fuck i've been overdrawing my like backgrounds steve kirby puts fucking characters in like a blue room and that's all there is there's a line that says that's ground that's wall and it works <laughs> like you you don't fucking he, he uses miss it shadows yeah he uses shadows so much to where you're like, oh yeah, that is a room. There's just a giant shadow yeah. obscuring most of it. <laughs> it's wild. It's very, very inspiring. Actually, it's just like fuck. That's that's cool. Like I like it. Um, yeah. yeah, it's it, it, no. I know exactly what you're saying. Um, it, you just have to. I think also the problem is, is the distribution platforms are all fucked up. Like there's nowhere to find yes. oh, stuff, yes. you know, mm -hmm. like yeah, even, yeah. even like you can find someone you like on Instagram and think they're cool and you follow them. And it, it doesn't matter because the algorithm never shows them to you. And so you don't ever see yeah. them. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. even you can literally find people on the, on places like that, that you like and think are making cool shit and you won't even get to see it anyway. It's like mm -hmm. yeah. the, 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 the platforms are all fucked up. Like the, we just algorithms, I think, really fucked a lot of stuff up. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. No kidding. Because they yeah, there's no such thing as being able to find something new anymore. No. Yeah. No. I mean, that's why I made this like, channel is literally just like if I see hear a podcast I think is good. I'll fucking subscribe to it and just repeat, pre, like put it on a repeater, basically being like, this is good. Check it mm -hmm. out. Subscribe to them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but uh, it's fucking hard. Like it, the audience is still stuck on social media and social media mm -hmm. just isn't good for finding anything anymore. It's like no. just there mm -hmm. to like make you mad at the state of the world. Like that's it. Yeah. And like, that's no, so it is. Get in, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. I get in these audience bubbles too where like, the whole audience of something, they all just like follow each other. Mm -hmm. And then there's like no premium on the good shit. It's just people liking their friend shit. Yeah. It's and it's tricky. like, and you get kind of circled. Uh, yeah. I got to delete it off my phone. I like it as an archive. I feel like it's like for your, whatever weird little stuff I make, but, um, I gotta get off that fucking thing. I mean, I gotta I say, up. getting the flip phone, so now I just, like, the only way I can look at, like, Instagram or anything is on this giant fucking <laughs> iPad. That, like, it really, mm -hmm. like, it's hard to go to the bathroom with an iPad the size of Manhattan <laughs> on your lap. So it's really, yeah. like, minimized the amount of time I'm taking a shit. And... <laughs> I, it's kind the productivity of, it kind of, of your shits have gone up 20%. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I'm just like in there, out there. Nothing is going wrong. Like <laughs> Manolo can finally pee. Because <laughs> I've been kicking him out. Before he just was holding it. He was just holding yeah. it. Yeah. He oh, that's so funny. He had so to go funny. in this sink. <laughs> I made him. Oh, that's great. Like him locking him out. <laughs> yeah, it's God. it's interesting. Um, all hope is not lost, but I would no, say no. if you're looking at the usual suspects for entertainment, it's not in a good place right now. <laughs> no. That's yeah. for fucking sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, just go to club uh, video. You'll yeah. find something. Meet some yeah. friends and and uh, watch some watch some fun vids. Yeah, I don't know. I, I I'm trying to read more. I think uh, maybe that's mm. where we're all forgetting yes. about novels. We're all, at least me, I'm projecting, but like I do feel like most people are not reading very <laughs> much anymore, and uh, that is good for like just straight up like story uh novels are pretty sick and then specifically i've been reading pulp which is like short and like just the priority is on entertainment rather than like mm -hmm. 
having some like highfalutin artistic message. It's just like a cool character doing a cool thing and it's exciting yeah. and fun. Um, yeah. that that's fun. Um, I, I've been like curious about there's like new, um, Kindle based, um, pulp magazines. They're like sci-fi fantasy, mm-hmm. like pulp being pulp made now, like just short sci-fi and fantasy stories. I want to kind of delve into that and explore that a little bit. Um, just cause I'm a dork, I guess. But, uh, it looks f- mm-hmm. cool. Like it looks fun. Like I love the idea of like reading like just a f- cool sci-fi short story that is brand new, you know, like it's not like old shit. Um, not that old yeah. shit's bad, but like, I, like you're saying, it's fun to find new stuff and be excited about mm-hmm. someone who's making things now. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. cause now I've just been going to all my friends and asking them recommendations for their pornography. <laughs> and it's really yeah. opened my eyes to whole new <laughs> categories. Shit. Half the yeah. people we know make their own porn on only fans exactly. for Christ's sake. Yeah. That's right. And, like, I'm just getting a lot of boy love anime and <laughs> I love it. Is I that never true? Knew I it's a huge it genre. Oh, it's a big genre. Yeah. And it's a good one. It's nice. big. <laughs> Sexy. Big fucking. Big I, uh... <laughs> That's what they should call the genre. Massive. <laughs> massive stock. Do you guys have any massive cock and stock? Huh? <laughs> I was like, A, a B, B, massive You're cock. in Barnes and Nobles, sir. <laughs> Oh dear lord! <laughs> you should get a man, uh, a boy love comic, and then like read it while drinking coffee at the Starbucks inside Barnes and Noble. <laughs> you yeah, know, just be you know, one of those high tables, <laughs> offering candy to children. Yeah, <laughs> you should read it out loud when anybody at work <laughs> talks about their manuscript they're working on or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just something hey, I've been can working I read on? you this passage from my book? <laughs> uh, oh God, it's so big. Oh, oh. Uh. Ooh, ooh. ooh, ah, ooh, ooh. Oh, it's so Starting funny. to feel it inside my lungs. <laughs> <laughs> You're up in my guts. You're rearranging my guts. <laughs> Be gentle. It's my first time. <laughs> You're re you're re- re- rearranging rearranging <laughs> rearranging my guts. Sorry. <laughs> That's what my gynecologist was doing. Honestly. Oh damn! Oh my god! <laughs> well, on that note, should we uh, wrap it up? We've been yeah, going I have something to plug. Oh yeah, plug away. Oh, All right. Yeah. So, uh, my friend, speaking of people listening she's a trans dj so if you're in new york and you are an ally or trans or you know whatever i mean be an ally honestly like don't be a fuckhead and go but it she has a video game like rave like dj thing it's great it, i've been cool. a couple times and like even as a cis lady it's very fun like weird cool music it's called critical hit um and they just oh, bring like ps oh really yeah it's yes. fun and she just brings like ps2 games and like there's like a gaming corner and then like crazy music and it's like a party everyone's really fucking nice like it's a great community um the tickets aren't that expensive uh and so i think it usually happens at trans because i'm not sure um but the most the next one is on uh, April 6th at Trans Picos. Uh, 10 to $20, I think, depending on what time you buy it. And uh, 18 plus, so like you little kitties could go too. <laughs> it's super fun. 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. Damn. Um, if you want to go check out their Instagram, it's called Critical Hit NYC. 
Nice. That um, sounds but yeah, fun. so it's really fun. Um, I'm too old and <laughs> low energy, and I still have fun. So I'm gonna look right now. Yeah, it's really fun. I, there it is. I saw this on Instagram before, or I feel like I got like a WhatsApp text about it or something. <laughs> Maybe that's oh, really completely cool. wrong. Sick. Looks fun. Nice. Yeah, my friend's uh, her handle's Death Rays, uh, so she performs a lot and is very talented. Uh, it kind of opened a whole new genre of music that I did not know existed, and I'm loving it. Hell yeah! Sweet. That sounds like a good time. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think she's Death Rays on Instagram, Critical Hit NYC on Instagram. Check it out; it's real good. All right, I'm done. Sweet. People making cool stuff. Oh, yeah. I will be at the Shirk Factory Comic Expo on Saturday. Uh, it is put on by, I want to say, Bedlam Books. Let me triple check. Um, it's an independent bookstore? Yeah. They're doing um, it's fucking tight. Indie, indie comic... Um, uh, Beldum, Beldum books. I'm sorry. Um, in uh, 71 Lawrence, Glen Falls, New York. All you upstaters who are into indie comics or want to get into indie comics, I'll be there and a bunch of other people will too. It should be cool. Come through. Hell yeah. Sam, you got right, anything Sam. you want to juice? Uh, I guess. Let me see here. I don't I don't think so. I've just been uh, editing a lot and um, <laughs> trying to get these fuckers to play Minecraft. <laughs> you know. um, I'm here. No, yeah, I'm ready. I'll, I will be. I'll be in the dark, uh, cutting. Not myself, but. <laughs> um, yeah, we should. Uh, we should yeah. get a, a Minecraft day in this week if we can. That'd be fun. Oh, I'm so down. Uh, and buy, pick up at Stardew Valley. Buy Stardew Valley, please. Yes. I think you'll really yeah, like it. I will. Oh, you will. You will. Yeah. I will. Okay. All right, sick. All right. If you like awesome. what you heard, go to extremely.live slash donate. Help us buy fun indie games we can talk about. If you're an indie game developer, send us links to your shit. We'll look at it and play it and uh, talk about mm-hmm. it. And we'll be nice. We're and nice just, people. We're very nice. Just people. one quick thing, guys. Yeah. Um, I'm all, I'm a big advocate for gamers. Okay, <laughs> so if you are upside down on legal fees because you shot your mother in the head, because you <laughs> buy you Halo Three. Oh, if you are, if you um, were recently exiled from a community because of a certain word you used at a Super oh, Smash yeah. Brothers convention. <laughs> You just email me at all lowercase sjvideorg at gmail.com. That is my professional email. Um, and I will pick your story and we'll share it on here because we know that the thing that is on the top, on the bottom, sometimes of God, the list of prayers is gamers. And <laughs> trying to move them up. Trying to move them up. Uh, uh, yes. That's great. Yes, please. Yes, please, indeed. Well, it was fun talking to you. I'll see you next week.